Hey everyone, welcome back to the next chapter. My name is Christopher Navo and I'm gonna be your host. If this is your first time joining, thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think of the content. Today's video is my weekly wrap up. Now, last week I was pretty busy. I had an extended weekend uh, trip into Chicago. Uh, we visited a friend, we went to a concert, we did all the cool stuff you can do in Chicago. Um, so by the end of the night, um, I was pretty exhausted, a lot of walking and, um, just moving around. So, um, didn't get a lot of reading done on the, uh, vacation itself, but, uh, the plane ride to and fro, um, I did get some reading done. So that was good. Uh, so I did complete one full book. Yeah. Uh, last week I have two underway and then I have a new one lined up for later on this week. So without any further ado, let's get started. You can find me in the Yellow Ages, under Wizards, believe it or not. I'm the only one there. My ad looks like this. Harry Dresden, Wizard. Lost items found. Paranormal investigations. Consulting. Advice. Reasonable rates. No love potions. Endless purses. Parties or other entertainment. You'll be surprised how many people call me just to ask if I'm serious. So to begin, I read Stormfront. Uh, this is book one of the Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Uh, what we essentially have here is we follow a man named Harry Dresden. He is a professional wizard for hire. That's actually how he sells himself. Uh, he is also a consultant for the Chicago PD, where he works closely with Lieutenant Karen Murphy, who is a member of the Special Investigations Department. So yeah, essentially this is an urban fantasy um, set in the modern era, or at least as modern as when this book was published, which I believe was about 24 years ago, I want to say. I think it was like around the year 2000. Um, and essentially what we're, uh, the two main plot points are two investigations that Harry Dresden is uh, following here. Uh, the first one is with the uh, Chicago PD. It's a uh, uh, double homicide where uh, supernatural forces were the cause of the deaths. And then uh, Dresden is also hired privately by a woman to find her missing husband. And essentially those are the two plot points we follow majority through this book. Um, all in all, Dresden was a very quick, fun read. I definitely got the noir, um, pulp fiction-y kind of feel. Um, I've learned quickly that this book doesn't take itself too seriously. There is some, uh, humor to it. Um, there's a lot of, uh, tongue in cheek and eye rolling moments as well in this book. I'll get to that here shortly when I talk about character. Um, but I, I found myself really breezing through this book pretty quickly. I was reading this ironically on my way home from Chicago. Um, and I think I finished like 160 pages, like in just one sitting. So that just kind of tells you how quickly that I was reading. The prose is very straightforward. There's nothing flower, flowery or um, complex here, um, which is great because I am reading a more dense book right now with Malazan. So this is... Okay, and I, I don't need that all the time in my reads. So I was, I was fine with the prose. The plot is um, fantastic, fun detective story. Um, and then we get to the characters. And then this is sort of where I started having issues. This is a first person perspective uh, story, of course, in the eyes of Dresden. Um, so when we are presenting characters, when we're presenting um, scenes, it's all through Dresden's eyes. The way Dresden approaches women, we get a couple facial features and then immediately we get a detailed description of a woman's breasts. And it's fine, you know, whatever, but if it didn't happen all the time, which it does, and a little too much, it to the point where it started kind of ruining some of the intense plot moments for me. Like there was a scene with, uh, Dresden and a vampire and there was a focus on the vampire's boobs and this is supposed to be a very dangerous situation for Dresden and the fact that the focus went to her boobs quite a bit just took me out of that moment and I, I guess I wouldn't have a problem with it but it's a contradictory to what was said about Dresden in the beginning of this uh, story where he says something along the lines of I don't objectify women. I just see them as shorter men with breasts. 
really? <laughs> so that was just kind of like an unfortunate thing. And it, it does happen more than it needs to. But um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on this. Um, yeah, I just, I, uh, I'll continue at some point. Um, and I just hope those elements that didn't work for me quite so much in Stormfront could, um, are less noticeable in future installments. So as to what I'm currently reading, uh, well, I finally got to dig into Memories of Ice. This is book three of the Malazan Book of the Fallen by Steven Erickson. Um, as I mentioned before, I was in Chicago. I didn't get a, um, as far as into this as I wanted to, um, but I did read the prologue and I did get started into the main body of the story. Let me tell you, this guy can write prologues. Uh, this is another killer prologue here. Um, really set a like sober, very, isolated mood here kind of ha ha how i describe the theme of this prologue um it's centers around two bone casters these are characters that uh we haven't seen uh previously in the other two installments i'm not sure if they're part of the main story or not we'll find out um but there's there's this theme of just this isolation and we're in this like tundra barren landscape and there's talk of just like the extinction of an entire species and the obliteration of entire races. And that plays into kind of what um, happens within the prologue. And uh, it just, it's very, it's very just, you feel that isolation. You just feel the cold of the tundra, the barrenness, um, just really sets that mood, you can tell. And I'm like, oh, this is a Malazan book. Um, so. <laughs> Once again, he, he he gives you that hook and you you take it. And I just don't even know where to begin on where this is going to go, but it's going to be a journey. So hopefully this week I'll get a couple more chapters in for you guys uh, and continue to share my thoughts. So the other book I'm currently reading, um, as of this recording, I'm not too far in either. And that's The Bloodstones. And this is book one of The Legends of Bruhai. Uh, this is by Tori Tekken. Uh, this book is an arc and it will be released uh, November 28th of 2023. Does the name sound familiar to you? Well, it's also um, the same author who wrote Phase, which I uh, covered in um, my weekly wrap up from two weeks ago, linked above if you wanna check out that review. Um, this is a totally different series uh, from that uh, book of Phased, which I covered, where she actually goes by Victoria Tekken in that book. Um, just from the beginning, a darker tone in a different way than uh, Phase was. Phase was pretty dark, but um, uh, Bloodstones is dark in another way. Um, really, again, she she's another one who uh, really started off with a really good mood setting scene here. Um, and you actually get a little bit of the play of the title here right off the start, which I think was pretty cool. Um, and the way she works on description uh, is is really excellent. Um, I could tell it's still her writing based on Faze, and Faze I think was a little more driven for a young adult, where I think this is an actual full-fledged adult fantasy here. It's it's well executed. The mood was set right. You, I, I had chills uh, just from uh, those opening chapters. Again, uh, a little early to give you any more, um, and I, but I should have this book uh, definitely wrapped up for the next wrap up next week, and I'll let you guys know. So after I wrap up uh, Bloodstones, which will probably be the beginning part of this coming week, um, I'm going to go into uh, the uh, latter part of the week with another arc. This is Pathlighter, and this is by uh, Rob Lee. This book is going to be released November 20th, so um, this is going to be released eight days um, before the Bloodstones will be, so um, I want to make sure I get this in uh, prior to the release date for the author, uh, just to kind of give them uh, an early access review of the book, um, and I'm pretty excited for it. It's a pity the path you walk is here, Chosen, but it won't end by my hand. Best start walking. James is convinced the gods have cursed him, left to fend for himself in the squalid city-state in the clutches of a corrupt theocracy. As a lamplighter, James serves the palace by illuminating the streets each night with a flame from the gods' temple. Despite his disdain for the gods, he feels a connection with the flame and a surprising yet small amount of control over its brightness. For him, 
a quiet life weathering the desert was all he had to look forward to. That is, until all others appeared. From distant corners of the world, each has a connected power to the gods, and eats a pass of great consequence. A soldier, an idealist, a hero, and a monster. Each squabbles according to their own desires, but cannot afford to exist alone any longer. Ancient devils and horrors beyond time have come to reclaim the world from the gods, but the forms they take and the power they yield are anything but understood. So next here, I want to share with you guys a little mini book haul. Uh, now, I actually received these books maybe a month or even more so ago. Um, it fell, unfortunately, during my little lull where I wasn't really making YouTube videos and I wasn't reading. I was kind of going through my, you know, just personal rediscovery time. Um, so um, I wanted to make sure I got them spotlighted here now that I'm active again. Um, and that is the Song of Chaos series. Um, and this is by Michael Miller, book one being The Ascendant, uh, the second book being Unbound, and then the third book, uh, Defiant. Um, Michael was gracious enough to send me these review copies and I definitely wanted to hit this series anyway. Um, I saw it featured uh, a long time ago on Patrick Leo's channel and uh, I knew it was something I was going to enjoy. I'm a sucker for dragons. You put a dragon in a book and I'm probably going to want to read it. So my hope is to uh, at least start this series uh, either late December or at the very latest at the beginning of the new year. So as to what's coming up, I do want to give you guys, I, I, I probably won't normally do this, but I, I want to give you a little sneak preview of what I have planned for reading in the upcoming weeks. Um, and again, I'm trying to stay away from monthly TBRs and MBRs, but I'm in the mood to read these books. And that's what um, this new setup for myself is about, is what I'm in the mood for. And I am in the mood to try a couple different things in the upcoming weeks. So after I finish uh, Path Lighter, uh, either this week or very early next week, because I do want to get this done before the 20th, um, I am going to deviate a little bit from fantasy and dive into some other genres um, upcoming. Uh, the first book is going to be uh, historical fiction. And then after that book, I am going to hit two sci-fi books. One is a uh, self-published um, author's uh, book and the other one is a continuing series I've started that I want to continue on with uh, and that's a traditional published book um, so um, that's just kind of give you guys a heads up uh, and, you know I I, I want to work in some more historical fiction and sci-fi books and that's a goal for myself in 2024 um, I don't know if you guys show up just because I cover a lot of fantasy um, and I hope you are open to uh, these other genres as much as I am. Uh, I mean, I will say my uh, I put out a historical fiction list of books I wanted to read a uh, video like months ago. It's my top performing video. Uh, so I guess you guys want me to do that. So I will be glad to do cover more historical fiction uh, and starting uh, in the next coming weeks, I will do so. And then sci-fi, um, I just want to broaden a little bit of my reading, you know, and, and I think it'll keep the fantasy I'm reading fresh. Keep in mind, I will still be reading uh, Memories of Ice during these other reads, so the fantasy will continue to flow. Otherwise, uh, what else is coming up? Uh, myself and uh, Laura from the channel Fantasy Awash will be going back to uh, doing some uh, discussions of another new TV show. Uh, if you're not aware, uh, um, Fantasy Awash and myself, we covered uh, the first two seasons of the Wheel of Time uh, TV show on Amazon. Uh, we had some fun discussions, definitely some hot takes. Uh, it was generally just a lot of fun. We thought it was time to discuss another TV show. We, um, you probably know because I put out a poll, she put out a poll to see if you guys were interested in, and we are gonna cover the Netflix show, uh, One Piece. Now the difference between uh, the One Piece uh, discussions we have and the Wheel of Time is neither of us read any One Piece. We never read the manga um, or we never saw the anime version of this show. 
that is also out. So um, this is going to be all like blind, um, going into the show blind, and we're just going to have to make our determinations of how we feel about maybe the characters and the plot or whatever the focus is um, of that episode and just make our determinations on how we felt on it just on the sheer fact that we're going by the Netflix TV show. We think it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you uh, join us in the discussion. We are very open to people participating in the comments. Uh, we keep those comments going. We, uh, we show all the comments uh, just so everybody feels like they um, are participating. And we hope you're a part of those discussions. We will let you know when that is scheduled and it, this time uh those will be on my channel um whereas the wheel of time um discussions are on her channel i'll have her channel linked in the description below if you want to check out those wheel of time discussions or any other thing on her channel which she has some amazing content otherwise that's all i got for what's coming up that's all for this week guys my name is christopher navo thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and I hope to see you in the next chapter. Take care. Hey everyone, welcome back. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Today's video is my weekly wrap up for the last week. <laughs> I can like describe the women based on the shape of their boobs. I said boobs a lot here, clearly. This is how much it appears in this book. <laughs> but um, is everybody uncomfortable with it? I am. So don't worry, well, I am gonna be uh, reading some historical fiction and some sci-fi. Uh, Malazan will still be going on, so uh, fantasy will continue to flow. Sound like Daniel Green. The fantasy news must flow. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another episode of Fantasy News. Love you, Daniel.